Happy Friday, everyone. Absolutely flown by this week. It seems like only yesterday that it was Sunday and it was the snow day, uh, which I know brought a welcome distraction to many of our students and, and they enjoyed the snow safely. Um, lots of information in this presentation linked to um, COVID, linked to reopening of schools, linked to press pause days. So please do take a listen uh, and hopefully it will provide you with the information you need. Obviously, a very brief COVID-19 update. Um, I absolutely long for the day when we don't have to give you one of these, but that's not now. And, and it's right that you know about what's going on with regards to COVID and Maiden Early. So there's been three cases reported to me this week of students. Um, none of them are in the pop-up provision, but obviously we wish them the very best and hope that they have a speedy recovery and that their symptoms are mild. Um, the lateral flow testing that we're running, mass testing is going to continue um, for staff that are on site and also for students that are on site. And in addition, the, the view is that before students return fully, the mass testing will go ahead. I've not heard uh, anything contrary to that. The one thing that has changed and has now been confirmed is that from the 27th of January, any student who become, a, who become a contact of a confirmed case will have to isolate for the required 10 days from the point of contact rather than carrying out serial testing daily. So if a child is a contact of a positive case, they will isolate rather than test to stay in school. With regards to school opening physically, um, the earliest date it's been confirmed that the school will be able to open physically is the 8th of March. Um, that will be reviewed and confirmed on the 15th of February or just beyond that when they review the current lockdown procedures within the UK. A lot of that is dependent on the vaccination rollout, I believe, and getting groups one to four vaccinated. And then that will allow three weeks before that particular date for hopefully the vaccinations to kick in for those vulnerable members of our community. Um, I will know more in due course. There isn't much more than I can say, say on that currently. Obviously, we will continue with our remote learning provision um, until then and beyond if necessary. But we are here to support the students at all times. On Friday the 12th of February, we're going to have a press pause day. This was an idea that I've seen from one of our other secondary schools in the Woking and Borough. I think it's a fantastic idea. Students and staff have been working absolutely flat out uh, over this half term. And it looks as though remote learning is here to stay for at least two weeks after half term. And therefore, what this day is, is an opportunity for students to organise their work, to catch up on any work that's been missed, to consolidate the work that they've learned, you know, going over the notes, revising them, making sure they understand all of the content that's there, um, making sure they're ready for any PPEs, prelims or assessments up and coming, um, making sure that they complete any homework that's outstanding and, and above all, just being ready for that first week back after half term where remote learning will resume because we know that the pace is going to continue. Um, so Friday the 12th of February is going to be a press pause day. There'll be more information coming out in due course, but that's an outline of what that day is going to look like. There will be the morning registration and PSHE on that day. Um, that makes sure that the students are up, they're fresh, they're ready um, for any work that they've got to complete for the rest of the day. Absolutely superb day on Wednesday for the Maiden Early Trust Conference. Um, it was very much um, linked to diversity and inclusiveness. And there were some guest speakers coming in. Uh, Angie Brown was, was absolutely brilliant in terms of her keynote speech. And there were over 60 sessions delivered by colleagues from within their trust about their areas of specialism. It was superb. And I know that many of the sessions are going to be brought into all of our colleagues practice, both teachers and support staff. Um, and therefore, that will have a real positive impact on what we do day in, day out. I'd like to publicly thank my uh, colleagues who presented on the day and shared their good practice with everyone else. And as I say, this will really, really help the school to progress even further. As always, PE have run a weekly wellbeing activity. This week is cycling. Uh, students were asked to cycle 15 kilometres. That can be all in one go or, or as many as they need to complete it. There's still time to upload your evidence to Google Classroom. Well done to everyone who's taken part. Please, please, please do get involved in these. They're, they're really good for both fitness and for well-being as well. So thank you to the PE team for organising it. And thank you for everyone who got involved as well. The Maiden Early Careers Fair is always one of the, the, the show pieces of the year. We have so many employers and careers coming in to talk about jobs to students. This year, we're not going to let you down. We're going to run it virtually. Um, and that will take place for all students on the 2nd of February and resources will be sent out. There'll be a careers directory with significant company and contact information as well as links to their website and resources. And there'll be a dedicated page on our careers website with links to YouTube videos 
and presentations which have been created by our representatives. And thank you to the careers team who've been putting this together. And of course, thank you to all of the representatives who've given up their time away from their normal working day to provide this information for the students. Just an earlier heads up, uh, Year 8 Parents Evening is on the 23rd and 25th of February for the different half year groups. They're virtual for those that haven't had virtual meetings before. They're really positive, um, but they are time limited. Appointments will be able to be made from 11 a.m. on Monday, the 8th of February. Keep an eye out for an email with regards to instructions if you've not received it already. And um, this parents evening is really important because obviously options evening is coming up on the 11th of February. And this is an opportunity for you to discuss your child's options before submitting your choices. So please do take that opportunity to have the conversation with the subject teachers. So that's the end of this week's update. Please do refer to the letter that I sent yesterday and also for those students in years 10, 11, 12 and 13, please make sure you read Mr. Attridge's letter, which outlines the current trust position on grades this summer. Um, it's based on what we know currently. The off-qual consultation shuts today, so if you haven't filled that in, please do so. Um, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I'm not sure that snow is forecast for this weekend, um, but I have, a, I have a reliable source, the Maiden Early uh, Weather Station, and their Twitter account has suggested that next weekend we may well get more snow. It was certainly a welcome release um, for many students, and I saw some great pictures from last weekend. So stay safe, everyone. Have a good weekend, and I will see you all virtually on Monday.